There is one famous number that everyone remembers, even if they are not mathematicians. The public is aware of its importance in math circles, literally and figuratively. In fact, there is even a motion picture with the name Pi. But where did Pi come from? And who first discovered it? Has it always been 3.14? Pi is the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. In other words, if a string were wrapped around the circle's outer edge, it would need to be the length of 3.14 diameters. A rough estimate for pi shows up in the Bible, where a round C is 10 cubits in diameter and 30 cubits around. From this we can infer a ratio of about 3 to 1 between the diameter and its circumference. It appears that the ancient Babylonians calculated the area of a circle by taking 3 times the radius squared, meaning 3 for pi, but one Babylonian tablet indicated a value of 3.125 for pi. Around 1650 BC, ancient Egyptians calculated the area of a circle a different way by using the formula seen here, where d is the diameter. This yields an approximate value of 3.16 for pi. Archimedes was a Greek mathematician, inventor, astronomer, and engineer, and is regarded as one of the leading scientists of classic antiquity. Using inscribed and circumscribed polygons about a circle, he was the first person with a theoretical calculation about pi and had the number precisely pegged almost to the thousandth. The search for pi took a hiatus until the 17th century when European mathematician James Gregory developed a new arithmetical formula to approximate the value of pi. Later, Gottfried Leibniz took Gregory's work further and used the formula in his approximations. It worked well, but the problem with using it to calculate pi at a four to six decimal places is that it would require the addition of an amazing five million terms. The calculations of approximating pi became more and more complex, and John Machine in 1706 developed a refinement on Gregory's formula, which produced the formula that computer programmers still use today. Englishman William Shanks used the formula to calculate pi to 707 places, which took many years. He published his work in 1873 and it was determined much later that only 527 places were correct. Englishman mathematician William Jones introduced the symbol for pi in 1706. The symbol became the standard when Leonard Euler adopted it in 1737. In 1761, Johann Lambert discovered that pi was an irrational number, meaning that its decimal will go on forever and never repeat. Today, computers calculate pi to thousands of decimal places, and there's even a Pi 1000 club consisting of members who have successfully recited the number by memory to a thousand places. Unbelievably, the current record holder, Akira Haraguchi, needed 16 hours to recite pi to more than 100,000 decimal places. Pi is used in many mathematical formulas where spheres and circles are present. Pi also shows up in strange places. Divide the actual length the water flows in a river by the distance as a crow flies over it, and the result is pi, and it's not clear why. Due to its natural arc, pi, gravity, and a pendulum's length show up in the calculation of its period. Divide the perimeter of the Great Pyramid by half its height, and the result is pi. And this number was not even discovered until many centuries after the completion of the pyramids. So it's easy to see why this amazing number has captured the imagination and attention of the human race throughout history. There are sure to mean more discoveries about this fascinating number and how it can be used to help the human race in the future.